Saga, saga, saga online, online, maybe, maybe you are favorite, favorite channel, 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 online, online, media, 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 media. The U.S. declaring a public health emergency over the monkeypox outbreak across the country. The Biden administration under growing pressure to stop infections from spreading. The numbers rising late today. More than 7,100 Americans have now been infected in at least 48 states. Montana and Wyoming, the only states without reported cases. The federal government's declaration frees up money to increase testing, treatment, and boost the nation's vaccine supply. New York City and San Francisco, two of the hardest hit cities in the country, saying they don't have enough vaccine to meet demand. The White House says there are more than 1.1 million doses available. Healthcare workers are fielding up to 80,000 tests per week. Some critics blaming the administration for not moving fast enough to contain the outbreak. ABC's Janae Norman leads us off here in New York. After weeks of rising infections and growing calls to do more, tonight federal health officials are declaring the monkeypox virus a public health emergency. We do expect that cases will continue to rise as we've had more access to testing. People have had more access to testing before they go down again. The CDC now reporting more than 7,100 cases across 48 states, up from just 200 a little over a month ago. And vaccines still in short supply as some clinics can't keep up with demand. Everyone's like, how do we get an appointment? So I was able to snag this like right when it came. New York City, the epicenter of the virus, tonight opening 23,000 vaccine appointments. But those are only for the first of two shots needed for full protection. Senator Kirsten Gillibrand calling on the Biden administration to invoke the Defense Production Act. With cases doubling roughly every week, it's paramount that the government prepare a health care system to meet vaccine and testing demands so that Americans can remain safe. Nearly all the cases have been among men who have sex with men, but doctors stress anyone can get the virus. Five children have already been infected. The virus is primarily spread through close skin-to-skin -skin contact, but can also be transmitted through prolonged face-to-face -face contact through respiratory droplets or touching clothing or bedding contaminated with the infected sore. Monkeypox is rarely fatal and symptoms usually go away on their own. I've seen some patients recover from their illness within two weeks, but others, unfortunately, they don't recover until maybe three, four, or even five weeks later. Brian McKenna says his symptoms started with what looked like a pimple on his lip. I then had them on my face and all along my neck. McKenna says he had to fight for access to the antiviral drug T-Pox by sending photos of his face to his doctors. The pictures told the story. And when they did get back to me, they said yes. Tonight, experts say right now the risk of monkeypox for Americans is low, but some worry that college campuses could be at risk. This is not a, you know, a classic sexually transmitted infection, but it can be transmitted efficiently through sexual contact. So what that means is that in any dense sexual network, we could see transmission of this virus. Janae Norman joining us now. And Janae, health officials tell us there are more than a million vaccine doses going out to states, but right now that's not enough to cover everyone who's eligible. And you're learning the FDA is now looking into stretching out those doses? Well, the CDC estimates about 1.6 million people are eligible to get the vaccine. Each person needs two doses. So those 1.1 million doses available right now just aren't enough. So the FDA says it's looking into whether it can stretch the vaccine supply by pulling five doses out of a single vaccine vial without sacrificing safety and efficacy. Wait, that would make a big difference. Trying to utilize every drop. OK, Janae, thank you. Powerful words from the head of the World Health Organization amid rising cases of monkeypox. The global monkeypox outbreak represents a public health emergency of international concern. The declaration of a public health emergency, the first time the head of the UN Health Agency has taken such action. One month ago, there were more than 3,000 cases in 74 countries. Since then, the disease has spread, and now there are more than 16,000 cases in 75 countries and five deaths. Monkeypox is considered a mild illness. Symptoms, which start within three weeks of exposure, include fever, headache, fatigue, and muscle ache. A rash or lesions occur on the face and then spreads throughout the body. Doctors say it spreads through close contact, mostly through skin-to-skin -skin touching, but can also spread through clothing or respiratory droplets in close range. For the moment, this is an outbreak that's concentrated among men who have sex with men, especially 
those with multiple sexual partners. That means that this is an outbreak that can be stopped with the right strategies in the right groups. However, there is no evidence monkeypox is sexually transmitted and experts emphasize anyone can become infected. Last week, the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services says it ordered 2.5 million doses of the vaccine. Federal government expects to have 7 million available by mid-2023. This is the seventh time since 2007 the WHO has declared a public health emergency according to the National Library of Medicine. The others include the H1N1 influenza of 2009, Ebola outbreak that began in 2013, and the ongoing coronavirus pandemic. Phil Lipoff, ABC News, New York. Kenya is now at the verge of experiencing a new outbreak following the report of a first case of Mpox, formerly known as monkeypox. Through a statement issued by the Ministry of Health, one person who was traveling from Uganda to Rwanda through Kenya has been found with the disease at the Taita Taveta one-stop border. The illness caused by a monkeypox virus is transmitted through direct contact with infectious skin or other lesions such as in the mouth or on the genitals. It can also be transmitted through respiratory droplets. Symptoms that occur include skin rash or mucosal lesions, fever, headache, generalized aches and swollen lymph nodes. Kenyans have now been advised to adhere to public health measures such as the regular sanitizing or washing of hands with soap, avoiding close contact with persons and presenting themselves to the nearest health facility upon experiencing the symptoms. The Ministry of Health has however vowed to contain and prevent the outbreak of the illness through surveillance, reporting cases and sensitizing the public. The Mpox illness has recently been rampant in East, Central and West Africa with the highest peak reported last year between the period of June to November. The illness usually resolves in two to three weeks without complications. In the event of complications, the patients receive specialized treatment. Harriet Chimea, K24. It's important to note of the, um, the advisory that we gave the other day of the monkeypox, uh, that is Mpox. I know the Ministry of Health through my office, we were able to give an advisory in regards to um, the patient who was detected at uh, Taitaveta border. And we have been able to isolate this patient after testing. Um, we are yet to confirm how many people he was with. So we, are, we have deployed our health teams to Taitaveta for the response. And we are doing what we call contact tracing and more surveillance. We have enhanced on surveillance, but even in itself by the virtue that our teams have, were able to detect this, it shows you how much uh, um, enhancement we have done at the border. Our port health officers in the, all the 32 points of entry are well trained and we are able to, um, to monitor any kind of uh, outbreak that may uh, be um, at the border level. We, we have also been able to um, to disseminate information on what needs to be collected from the ground through our, 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 peop, our surveillance team. And the ministry is very much committed to ensure that we contain any outbreak, may it be uh, cholera, may it be Mpox or any other at any given time. And we are working very closely with the county government, we are working very closely with our portal officers at the border, we are working closely with other state agencies like the National Administration to ensure this, um, uh, these issues are addressed as early as possible. So the quarantine process will continue for any detection, any individual who will be detected to be having NPOX uh, so that we, do, we avoid the spread of the sin into the country.